Welcome to the video. Today is day six of 10 knives in 10 days challenge. And tonight I want to talk about a um, carving knife that does a great job. It's by a company called Warren Cutlery Corporation and they were founded in 1927. And this particular knife feels just great in the hand. It has interchangeable blades. And I mentioned previously that I served as a scout master for several years. And I use this knife to carve neckerchief slides. And I thought I would share some of those with you all tonight. And uh, let's see. So I've got some birds here. I've got Marvin the Martian. The Pink Panther. This eagle, which was quite a challenge. Pleased with that one. Snoopy. Just going around the room here. From the, uh, oh, I think it's called the Indian Head Dime. No, that's from the Buffalo Head Nickel. This is from the Indian Head Penny. I really think that one came out great. I got on a kick uh, carving coins. This is from one of um, just a few Confederate... Um, coins that were ever found. Then I have Lady Liberty from um, one of the gold pieces. Another Lady Liberty here. A Civil War soldier. He was a bit challenging, but came out quite well. I have a desire to one day uh, have take a trip to Easter Island, so I've carved a bunch of Moai or Easter Island heads, as they're commonly referred to. All right, then we come over here. I like uh, fossils and studying about ancient uh, history, so I carved a trilobite. This one always got the scouts um, intrigued. It's a grenade, and I even have a pin there. I put an actual pin on it, but... Um, Kids from other uh, troops, when we were someplace, um, you know, where the boys weren't familiar with me, I'd wear that one. And I'd get uh, quite a few reactions that were interesting. Then I got an elephant. Carved this. Um, it's the end of a, um, it's an arrowhead at the end of an arrow. Several Indians. Tweety Bird to go with uh, Snoopy for Halloween. A uh, cotton or um, candy corn. A bat. This mallard came out really well. It's carved out of cherry. And then this hummingbird really came out well as uh, as well. Now the uh, the beak on the hummingbird is actually a um, piece of a pop rivet. Let's see, what else do we have here? I've got a uh, Northwest-inspired Indian uh, killer whale. A lobster. And we're back to the start. But uh, these Warren knives, I can't recommend them enough. They just feel great in the hand. Uh, when the blade gets dull, it comes with a kit. Or you can get these kits. You can buy individual blades in a kit or an assortment and you just change it out. You can also sharpen these. I typically will sharpen them um, and just keep using, but uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful tool. So highly recommend those. All right, well, I oh, I didn't touch on these over here. All right, so I've got an anvil. I, I enjoy blacksmithing and used to blacksmith with my dad some and uh, carve that anvil in the hammer. Uncle Sam here. An angry drill sergeant. And that's all the ones uh, that I'm displaying this evening. I've got others, but um, these are the ones that came out really good that I wanted to feature. All right, thank you for watching. Come back for more.